I'm delighted to be here. I'm sorry that uh, I could not be present physically because my calendar didn't permit me to come. Um, I apologize for this. Uh, I know it's such an important event that you are holding today. Uh, it is all excitement for this important award being uh, uh, given today. And very distinguished people, all over the world, the people are admired so much uh, for the contribution they have made. Nobel laureate Lech Walesa, Nobel laureate Mario Losa, Robert Hicks, all of them are people, personalities who have drawn attention from all over the world for the contribution they have made for the people. And I'm very happy that uh, uh, this occasion uh, could draw such a distinguished group of people. And we uh, congratulate uh, uh, the honorees, the winners of their awards. And uh, this will give us a tremendous pleasure that we could honor them through this ceremony. They deserve all the honor that we can give them. I congratulate them. Thank you very much. Hi, Bob. I'm sorry that I can't be with you and all the others today, but I wanted to be with you at least by video. I don't know how many of your friends today remember the young Robert Higgs that I remember. You were already identified as a rising star by Doug North, who told me to keep my eye on you that you were going to be a meteor. And you have certainly lived up to Doug's forecast. You've been a prolific writer one of the major contributors to modern economic history and a great analyst of trends in American and global economic development. We all look forward to many more years of productive research and from what we will learn from your work. Good luck, Bob. Keep being young and healthy. See you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to share congratulations to the Independent Institute at its 25th anniversary and to the honorees this evening. In the eyes of most people of Poland and other countries of Central and Eastern Europe, socialism was a very bad regime as it deprived individuals of all basic liberties and as a result of prosperity. However, due to the Soviet domination, there was no much hope that this totalitarian system would collapse in our lifetime. It was therefore of immensely positive surprise when, in August 1980, the Solidarity movement emerged in Poland. Solidarity was much more than an independent trade union. It was mass peaceful movement for more freedom, something completely unprecedented in the Soviet bloc. And it had an unquestioned leader who quickly became an unofficial leader of Poland the young electrician, Lech Wałęsa. Wałęsa has shown extraordinary leadership skills in his negotiations with the government authorities that aimed at widening the scope of freedom in Poland without, however, provoking the Soviet invasion. He played, again, a key role eight years later in another unique development in the Soviet bloc, the round table negotiations between the government and the opposition in the spring of 1989. They paved the way for the peaceful transformation 
of Poland into democracy and market economy. Other Central and Eastern European countries followed. It was then that as a newly nominated Deputy Prime Minister of Poland and Minister of Finance, I first met Lech Wałęsa in person. Other meetings followed since he was elected President of Poland in late 1990. In my experience, Lech Wałęsa gave a strong support to free market reforms in Poland, including massive liberalization and uh, privatization of the economy. He, the workers' leader, has shown much deeper understanding of the importance of the economic freedom than many naive intellectuals who have claimed to represent their interests. Lech Wałęsa has made an unprecedented contribution to the cause of freedom. First, in bringing down an oppressive and wasteful system, and second, in helping to put Poland on the path of liberty and economic development. Most everybody knows that Mario Vargas Llosa is one of the greatest writers in the world. We in Poland were very happy when he finally obtained the Nobel Prize in Literature. However, what distinguishes Mario Vargas Llosa from other artists is not only his extraordinary literary achievements, but also his long-standing defense of individual liberty, including economic freedom. Too many artists oppose individual liberty in the name of collectivism, disguised as expressions of solidarity, social cohesion, equality, etc. Against this background, Mr. Vargas Llosa's exceptionalism is all the more remarkable. His service to freedom, including the direct political engagement in his native Peru. He described uh, this experience in a fascinating book, El Pes en el Agua, also translated into Polish. He serves the cause of freedom worldwide through his literary and essayistic work. Freedom needs great communicators. Mario Vargas Llosa is one of the greatest. We should be very happy he is with us. Not only many politicians and artists displayed a collectivist bias, but many social scientists too. Contrary to the evidence, the government is seen by many sociologists and economists as a solution and not as a problem. Demonization of free market and wishful thinking about the government bureaucracy uh, too often crowd out evidence and truthful analysis. Most of a disease is then prescribed as a medicine. This tendency endangers the liberty <coughs> and prosperity in those societies which continue to be nominally free. It is therefore of utmost importance to oppose the status bias. And this is exactly what Robert Hicks has been doing in his masterly works. In his numerous books and publications, he, dis he displayed great erudition, sound methodology, and exemplary clarity. He unmasks crucial collectivist myths and shows the driving forces and the dangerous effects of the march towards bigger and bigger government in America. His pioneering works has taken an added importance in the current economic debates in the US, and we are all most grateful for, to him for bringing such powerful insight into focus. Let me finish by praising again the Independent Institute for its outstanding work in the service of individual liberty, responsibility, and the rule of law. Congratulations to everybody and the Institute for your 25 years, and I am sure much more will follow. Thank you very much. It is a pleasure to send greetings to all who have gathered to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Independent Institute. 
Under the leadership of David Thoreau, the Institute has grown into a serious player in the policy community producing top-notch scholarship and policy analysis on a wide variety of issues. My staff and I have benefited from working with a number of scholars associated with the Institute, such as Ivan Elin and Charles Pena, two of the top advocates for the Founders' Foreign Policy of Peaceful Relations with All, and Anthony Gregory, one of the brightest and most principled young writers in the liberty movement today. I have also greatly benefited from Robert Higgs's work on how politicians use both manufactured and real crises to expand their power. Recently, Robert has once again performed an invaluable service to advocates of liberty with the work on regime uncertainty. The Independent Institute stands steadfastly for peace and civil liberties. In conclusion, congratulations to David and all others associated with the Institute for a 25 years of advancing liberty and my best wishes that you will continue your vital work until that day when we at last reject the phony security of the welfare or warfare state for the blessing of liberty. I'm delighted to send you my heartfelt greetings on the occasion of the Independent Institute's 25th anniversary dinner, a gala for liberty. I want to thank all the honored guests and congratulate each of our three distinguished honorees, Lech Walesa, Maria Vargas Loza, and Robert Hicks. You have each made exemplary contributions to the cause of liberty and we're all very grateful and delighted to have you receive the Alexis de Tocqueville Award this evening. I want to commend David Theroux and everyone at the Independent Institute on their magnificent, principled, and courageous work. The Independent Institute is a unique and essential beacon of light and hope in advancing peaceful, free, and prosperous societies, all grounded in a commitment to human worth and dignity. The world needs you more than ever before. May God bless you all. Dear friends, it's a real pleasure and honor to welcome all of you on the 25th anniversary Gala for Liberty of the Independent Institute and especially, of course, these three men who have done so much for the cause of liberty in the past and also currently. Lech Walesa, Mario Vargas Loza, Robert Hicks. You deserve this prize so much because you have been an example for us what is possible to do for liberty, what is possible when the man is having enough courage to tell the truth, even in the situation when this doesn't look very practical. Because when we have the people who do this, the cause of liberty will develop and protect it. And we all are winners from this. Congratulations and a lot of thanks to you.